how we can easily uh, work with forest fire as well as a loosely model mainly soil loss estimation okay so yes. do you have any specific algorithm about that or not uh, sir, let me first introduce myself. Like my name is Mushin Joksa. Right, I'm a PhD and master of right? Right. Okay, uh, I'm uh, here in IT. Like so I'm so working on a project. project. I'm not I'm getting not much more, more time, time to handle all of the things going on online. So, so I need so a particular help regarding our computers. You do. I pretty much appreciate your work. It's going quite good. I really like your work. The thing, thing is that, that, that course, I'm, I'm working on the project. the project. It is like fire, forest fire mapping, remote sensing, and the soil erosion kind of a thing. So I'll so share I'll you my, my like the screen. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, suppose here you can see. Okay, so this is uh, one kind of work for that uh, Australian forest fire, mainly yeah, uh, bush fires in Australia. I also do it for that. In this time, we are just identify about that forest fire region. Okay, so this is the forest mm -hmm. fire region, and uh, further we also basically it's uh, our also air pollution work also. Basically, it's yeah. also for about that what is the effect of the forest fire on nitrogen dioxide gases okay? okay so this type of work we can do so in this time here you can see uh, it's one kind of uh, result for that forest fire and in this time what the method i want to use in here in this time we are using at the uh, modis data set okay basically modis um okay, i'll show you the source of the data this is that this is the data about that primes So this is the data fire information of resource management system so basically uh, it's available from year of 2000 to present time and this data set we can easily detect for that uh, brightness temperature of higher pixel okay mm -hmm. so this data set we're also going to use in here we can easily detect the uh, fire or forest fire about that okay it, this is the one method for that forest fire uh, detection okay as well mm -hmm. as another method is that uh, if you show me it is that an nbr mainly normalized burn ratio nbr yeah so i'll show you this yeah. process just a minute so just for nbr i just open my code just uh, N -B -R. burn severity mapping it's called mainly burn severity mapping. we are just take the two time period of uh, suppose post and pre this two images we try to test in this time we also use at the sentinel two satellite imagery so let's check about the result so in this time yeah so in this time we are just use at this sentinel two satellite imagery for this study area and further we are just make this type of layer here you can see so basically we take the two composite one is that before and after for the yeah, fire yeah. condition okay and then we make the pre fire nbr and also post fire nbr then we try to make the change in nbr then we make the severity mapping and we uh, find out that high severity moderate high severity moderate low low severity and unburned area so basically this one kind of classification will also be in here as well as basically this uh, attacks also connect with that air pollution basically we try to find out uh, what's the concentration of the carbon monoxide due to the increase of the forest fire okay if i had the high density of that severity severity is the high it means that for this study area we find out that high concentration of the carbon monoxide mm -hmm. okay so this is another way so in this time you can see this is our code about this so basically in this time we are just simply use the sentinel 2 satellite imagery and further we we'll just apply the nbr okay nbr is very easy way we are just try to apply have uh, had had the nbr formula mainly nbr formula is that normalized difference is the b8 and b11 so basically norm normalized difference between that near infrared band and short wave infrared 2 band then we can get that normalized burn ratio nbr equation okay okay, okay. So this is a, this is another way to identify for the forest fire, and basically it's not a ready-made data set. We are just 
make the satellite image analysis and create this but previous one which i show you that it's ready-made data set because mode is we are just use the data set we are not put any kind of equation or any kind of things we are just uh use the data set but in this time we are just take the satellite image ready so i'll show you the all of layer one by one so <laughs> So first of all, here you can see this is the before condition, mainly before fire condition. This is the image about that. Uh, Sentinel-2 oh, oh. satellite imagery. And it's an after. Okay. You can see that it's before and it's after. After forest fire condition. But then we calculate the pre-fire NBR. Okay. Pre-fire NBR using that before image. Using the before, we can get this type of result. And then post-fire NBR, we can get this type of result for post-fire. Okay. So basically pre-fire NBR, we calculated the before image. And post fire we calculate the after image. Okay. Okay. Then we find out that change in NBR. What is the change between that? Okay, we can get this type of ratio. Here we find out that okay. high concentration of the change, it shows the high severity. Okay, then we are just make the some classes. So basically, it's our uh NBR changed map. Further, we are just simply put the some uh range. So I'll also show you the range, suppose. Uh it's the carbon monoxide, it's not just so here you can see we have just make the change and put the some classes suppose less than 0 0.10 all of pixel less than 0 0.10 we consider uh -huh. that the unburned area unburned area okay. Okay. then 0 0.10 to 0 0.27 we consider it says low severity then moderate then uh, moderate low moderate high and finally high greater than 0 0.66 we consider this the high severity so first then we can easily get the severity mapping you can see this is our severity mapping. We can just make the classification. Uh, okay. Before on the range about that. And further, we have just make the only for the burned area. Okay, only for the burned area mainly in this time. We are just get only for the burned area. In this time, we are also use the thresholding technique. So we have just consider all of pixel which are greater than 0 0.3. All of pixel which are greater than 0 0.3, we consider is a burn area. And we find out this type of region is the burn area about that okay and further if you want to can calculate the how much area will be burned this type of thing you can also do it no problem about that so is there another method to uh, make the nbr or normalized burn ratio and then detect the forest fire or forest fire region okay, okay. and further okay and also talk about the rusli model uh you just uh, this type of algorithm we are just applying for your study area and then check what types of result you can get because all of algorithm is not same for all of a study area okay so that's why it's better you can simply send me your study area okay suppose you can simply uh, click on your study area suppose you, uh, you just make it draw a rectangle or your study area then simply click on here and further copy this polygon simply copy these things then i can easily uh, import in my hair okay just simply copy and send me that then i try to apply this type of things uh, for this time and then try to check what the result we can get from for using this code without any modification Let me check. Okay. Uh, try to put the full suppose e dot geometry dot polygon from here, just copy the full. Hold on. Uh, just click on the get link button, just click on the get link button and then send me the code link, it also better. Okay, that's okay. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me check. Okay, so basically this is your AOI. So in this time we are just trying to applying the same AOI 
and then calculate the result for the uh, NBR and also for we just we have to change the time period okay so okay, check so this is our AOI AOI then this time geometry okay just i simply remove my geometry paste here and i take a variable geometry now let's check what happened and we'll change the uh, time also about that because we have to change this forest fire yeah. Yeah. or pre fire about that then i hope it also worked better there is no problem yeah it also worked it's not it basically it's about the carbon monoxide concentration this time pre and post fire condition maybe we need to change the time yeah 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 so okay just a minute i change this time yeah so before and after you can simply take me about the before and after fact then it's simply change in here okay what is the before time when we create the before and after composite uh we have to put the before and after time this is the whole duration, the whole duration of mainly the is the, uh in this time uh, suppose before uh, before 10 uh, 20 days or one month and after uh, and after um 20 days or, or or one month okay no problem okay So uh, we cannot like find out with the modis data set, data set like the duration the of duration fire, of like fire, fire, fire was for fire three was days, from three days. It's from 21, from 21 yes. Yes. yeah, yeah, it's from 17, it's from to, 17 to 23. So whole of so these whole days, the area of burned area, we can do this. Yeah, it also possible, no problem. Even the modis. Yeah. Because so I have done the terms data set and the data, data set is not data working out according to the professor. Like the pixels uh, are not really clear, clear with the forms. Uh, it's patching out the patching pixels. Out the pixels. Okay. Okay, so now I want to apply this mode is data, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. I try to check it. Okay, let me open a new monitor. Yeah. 